Should be a walk in the park. This doesn't look as creepy you know, as it looks like. Oh. When I first climbed this mountain above the fog, I thought to myself, now here is a metaphor worth taking in. Um You've entered a place of clarity, understanding, peace. While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you as long as you welcome us. Well, this is awkward. I've walked in with two Brotherhood members and uh and uh, they are not fond of the synth. That's that's for sure. I came here looking for Kasumi Nakano. Really? I'm impressed. Few would brave the kind of journey you've had for the sake of someone else. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me, do you think Kasumi is a synth? Uh, it doesn't matter. Who or what she is isn't important. But it is. It's everything. Imagine just looking at your own hands and having to wonder, was I born with these? Or were they manufactured? None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie. That someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? How would I know? How would I even know? I'm afraid if you're looking for some biological test we can do, there isn't any. None that aren't fatal. Instead, you have to look for the signs, holes in someone's memory, feelings of unexplained isolation, odd dreams. But ultimately, you have to decide for yourself. What do you believe? Have you ever questioned your humanity? Some, some really deep questions there. That I would like to, uh... You know what? I'm gonna say I'm human. Because I don't think I have any of those. I'm a human being, not a synth. Are you sure? I don't mean to question you. But what's the first memory you have? Uh... You first. I'm not gonna tell my life story to someone I barely know. Let's hear your answer first. I was in a laboratory in the Institute. They were pulling pieces of my head out. Something about wanting to test some neural process. That was every day for months. Strapped down. Operated on. And then, I was out. The Institute has fail-safes to strip memories that could identify where they are, how to find them, but I do remember being quite content. I was free. That is my earliest memory. Now, yours. Um, well, since we're sharing. I was with my husband. We were getting ready for the day. I had to take care of my son. Sean, and, well, a lot's happened since then. But no memories before then? No childhood? Your first best friend? Your first kiss? That's usually a sign. Data is easy to migrate, but feelings, that's a hard thing to transfer into another mind. Isn't it funny how a memory can feel like a whole different reality? People, places, even sounds and colors can change. Or 
someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that you will be accepted here. Whatever you decide is true for yourself. So, uh, where is Kasumi? I've heard enough. Where is Kasumi Nakano? Of course. Kasumi is usually working down below. You can see her whenever you like. Acadia is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase. Did you need anything else before you go? Um... I know Dance is gonna hate me for this, but... I'm part of a group that helps since. A railroad. Really? I don't understand why a group dedicated to helping synths would convince them through fear that their only option is to hide. Yes, they volunteer for the memory wipe. Yes, not knowing you're a synth makes it harder for the Institute to find you. But the cost... I know how frightening it is. The risk of capture. But sacrificing what you are? Avoiding the true struggle to be accepted as our own form of life? Well, I'm not here to debate. I didn't come to argue. I just wanted you to know we're out there, helping your people. I know. I'm sorry. It's easy for me to worry about our ideals while I'm so far away from the Commonwealth in relative safety. Can I help you with anything else? Um... Uh, I'm not gonna ask any I more questions. Going. Of course. Perhaps not. We're in there a long time. Are you feeling alright? I'm fine. After this, I can't wait till we start live weapons Sometimes training. I, like you I don't, don't see why everyone isn't out to no eradicate these abominations. I'm coming in. You stay right there. Good. He just... He just like talk smack about the synth while we're in a synth base. Oh, it's not really a synth base. I would consider them more like the railroad. But still, that is... Only that is opens concerned. with a key. Guess I have to pinch the key. I was That's... having a hard enough time keeping up with repairs before all this nonsense with the atom lunatics. So there are nothing you need to be concerned about. It's not them. I'm concerned about you, Dima. You can't solve all the world's problems. Certainly not all at once. Dearest Faraday, relax. All will be fine. So. You've talked to Dima. You know why we're here. I certainly hope that you'll consider helping us. Dima's vision is worth fighting for. Um... Yeah. Right. It is a good cause. Synths definitely deserve to be safe, just like everyone else. It's so good to hear that. Very encouraging. Please, make sure Dima knows that as well. He's put so much of himself into this. All his time and energy devoted to helping others he never stops to think of himself sometimes I worry about well if I wasn't here to make sure his equipment is all functional and that's not even mentioning maintaining the fog condensers so many things to keep track of fog condensers um well, I guess um lucky to have you seems like he's lucky to have you helping thank you that's very kind um, so what about these fog condensers? Can you tell me about the fog condensers? Oh, those? Dima and I designed them when it became clear the fog was only getting worse. They're effective, but have such a limited range. Dima insisted we provide them to the people of Far Harbor, and I'm so glad we did. Without the condensers, I'm not sure they'd have anywhere left. That's cool. Um, that's all for now. Never mind. Okay. Oh. Nice way to introduce us to Kasumi Nakano. 
Maybe their factory. Maybe if I reroute the sensor. Kasumi Nakano? Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. Uh, what are you working on? What's that you're working on? Just trying to cobble some pre-war junk into something usable. Now, do you mind telling me what you're doing here? Uh, your parents sent me. Your parents sent me. They want you to come home. They... they did what? You came all this way... for me. Look, my mom and dad... Uh, I mean, those people that were taking care of me... They wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. Um... I don't really care. Yeah, you can work that out with your parents. I'm taking you home. No, you don't get it. I am not their daughter. I'm a synth. I thought if I just left, it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time. Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? <sighs> um, I'm going to say you're just confused. Kasumi, I think you're just confused. Everyone has doubts about who they are sometimes. It's, that's part of life. That's um, deep. I really wish that was true. If I wasn't a synth, things would be so much simpler. Acadia isn't what I thought it was. There's more going on here than just the refuge. But I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've been running long enough. Um... What kind of problems? What kind of problem is there in Acadia? It's a long story. I just have to figure out how to... Wait. Wait, you find things. Track down answers. That's what you do, right? That's why you came after me. What if I told you that there's a secret? A big secret here on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. Now I'm interested. All right. I'm listening. Okay. Where to begin? You saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? They hold his memories or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them. And, you know, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there. And that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. Oh, so you don't trust him? You don't trust Dima? After you came all this way for him? I didn't come to Acadia for him. I came here because this place offered answers. And now that i found a place I belong, I'd rather not lose it all if Dima is secretly planning to destroy everything. Yeah, I'll see to I'll it. help if I can, but that's not much to go on. I know. I've been working on that, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide an eavesdrop, but it's been locked up. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal, since he and Dima are so close, but the security on it is crazy. Mm. I'll improvise. I'll figure this out. Just stay here. Okay. Good luck, and come back as soon as you've found anything. Interesting. That it's gonna take a lot of hard work and discipline if I want to be as good as you. Uh, I like how these missions now have a lot of like little optional things I can do rather than just do this and do that. Now I gotta do a whole lot of other things. Now, let's see if there's anything we can grab here. It's not every day they let us squires out into the field. I'm guessing this is the lab she was talking about. Do I really want to eavesdrop? Nah. I think uh, priority right now is just to get rid of this kid. This kid first, and then we'll sort out everything else. I don't see why everyone isn't out to eradicate these abominations. And the, the, this kid really spouting the propaganda right now. Okay, there's the. There's that. 
So I'm guessing. I'm guessing the old man is somewhere down here. Nope. And just in time, a rad storm and a rad fog. Isn't that useful? Yeah, let's see. Got a lot of places to go check out. Alright. Let's uh, walk on over there, I guess. To... To enemy and unknown territory. I can't believe I was lucky enough to get this assignment. Hopefully by the time we're done with this little show the squire around kind of thing that he'll just run off and get himself killed or go back to the Pridwin without me supervising. After this, I can't wait till we start live weapons training. Wow, good for him. Being so young to operate a weapon. Just wanna get there as quickly as possible. Ooh, there's a rabbit up ahead. Oh, I missed him. Even with slow mo. Yeah, that that thing's hopping away. Soon, I'll graduate tonight and get to take on missions like this on my own. I really wanted to kill that red rabbit. No lie. I really want to do it. That way, think it is? Oh boy. Ladies and gents, we're about to have a little bow ride. Oh, it is power armor. It is indeed power armor. I think it's a full suit too. Nice. Sweet, now we're suited up. This is going to be great. I don't see anything, so... Should be in the clear by the time we get over there. Someday, I want to be the best laser rifle shooter in the Brotherhood. I'm guessing at the end of the DLC, we're going to have to fight a crawler. We haven't, we've heard them, but we haven't actually seen these things. I don't think. Probably if we see him, we'll probably notice it. Okay, so the spa's just up ahead. Should be able to make it. There's a wealth of technology just waiting to be discovered out here. It's about time you said something, Dance, because I was getting tired of that little trick talking. Oh, hello. Anyone else? I think it's just this area that we gotta clear out. You never know what you'll find. Yep. After today, it is the day spot that we wanted. Alright, let's wreck this place. Find anyone, we kill them. Nope. Nope. No boom boom. You may not boom boom. Take a mini nuke though. Oh, 
wonder if there's any mods on this suit that we found. Kind of nice. Have like a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of something, something with it. After this, I can't wait till we start live weapons training. You guys, just chilling. Prick. All right, time to kill some super mutants. Oh, what's that? Someone there? Go to sleep. Go to sleep. As much as I want to loot this place, I have to take down the dude. Down there. You point, oh. I shoot. Hopefully the kid is following me, and the other guy's just gonna just stay there. Lady like I think. Captain Kells said it's gonna take a lot of hard work and discipline if I want to be as good as you. Mm, that's one thing. Okay. Things freaking charged. There we go. And just to finish him off. That's all of them. Hopefully. Kind of sad to see people passing away in these areas. What? I take some of that. Oh, for a moment there, I thought I could take the towels. Take that. And I'll take that. Okay. Let's talk to that recruit. That was quite the experience, ma'am. Um, are you always this enthusiastic? You always this enthusiastic? Yes, ma'am. You're my hero, ma'am. God, that's like the most greenest suit I've ever seen. You handled yourself well. You honor the Brotherhood. Let's head back. It was an honor, ma'am. Oh, now I gotta return to him? Okay. Hopefully I don't have to return with him and actually run off by himself hopefully because uh I want to continue this without him that's even a possibility nice try I heard you made it to Acadia by yourself that takes some stone. I have my hands full. Well, oh, thanks to you, you jackass. Is it rare for someone to travel to Acadia alone? You're damn right it is. There's all manner of nastiness in the fog. Most folks are content to cower behind the hull in Far Harbor, but not you. Um, thank you. I appreciate the compliment. Believe me, I don't give them unless they're earned. You've got more spine than most of the folks living here. Maybe we can help each other out. I'm tired of waiting around for something interesting to happen. I ain't getting any younger, that's for damn sure. Thing is, I was born and raised here. I know this island front to back. I know what's in the fog and how to deal with it. Let me run with you. I can help you find your way around. Teach you what I know. Best of all, you won't have to drink alone. Interesting. 
Nice. Um, maybe later. I'm good for now, but I might take you up on that later. Right then. I'll be here if you need me. Cool.